Hello everyone. Welcome to Ubisoft. My name is Amit. In this session, we will see Swagger 2 with Spring Boot 3.2. So here, first question is, what is the use of Swagger? Let me give one real-time example. On any project, when we develop any API, then mainly these API will get consumed by testing team to test that APIs and by front-end team. So in this case, we have to provide all the information of that API. For example, what is the URL? what is the path params, what is the request params, or what is the request body, and uh, what is the response, and what is the use of, or what is the description of that API. For this, we have to create a documentation. To create documentation, we can use Word file or confidence page. But here, problem is, it is very difficult to keep update these documents. So that's why we can go for Swagger tool for documentation of API. So let me show you that tool first, okay? Now let me show you that Swagger UI. So I already copied this URL and paste here, enter. Now you will see such kind of UI of the Swagger and you will see all the information or documentation of the API. For example, what is the description of API? Uh, let me open it, okay? Then URL of the API, what parameters required for that API, what will be the response. So such kind of all information will be maintained at this Swagger. Now, even we can call this API from the Swagger. For example, try it out. And here we can provide the name, for example, uh, AVSoft. And let's hit that application. Now you can see we are getting the response 200 and it is returning hello avsoft so basically we can use swagger for two things for maintaining documentation and to call that apis now let's see how to configure swagger now to configure the swagger first create a spring boot project so right click new spring starter project and here you have to select a project name let's say swagger demo that's it and click on next and select here spring web and okay that is enough click on next and finish now it will create a spring boot project of swagger now the next thing is we have to add one dependencies so first open that uh, swagger project where it is okay so this is the project which is already created now click here on the pom.xml and here we need to add one dependency so let me show you what is the dependency so this depends dependency we need to add and uh, keep one thing in mind that version should be same for three dot uh, plus spring boot applications okay so copy this and then paste here that's it okay we are good we are good now the next thing is we need to create one controller so i am creating one controller new package then dot controller and here now here we have to create one controller class so to save the time i have already created the controller class so let me show you you can see this is our controller class in which we have using address address controller annotations and address request mapping and this is the controller and this is the api now we have to provide the documentation for this api and this controller so for us here we have to describe what is the use of or what is the description of that controller so we can use one annotation called as adder tag which is provided by the swagger so let me show you what is the annotation so this is the annotation now copy this annotation and paste here that's it so what i did i copied here that annotation at the red tag inside that tag we need to provide use of or the name of that controller so let's say uh, my api or my controller whatever that you want and here we have to provide the description of that controller so here we have provided that api for demonstrating the swagger with spring boot and some other so you want whatever you whatever you want you can write here that description of that controller after this we have to document this api so to document this api there is one annotation from the swagger called as address operation so let me show you this annotation so this is the annotation that we need to copy below that address gate mapping so copy and paste here now let's see in detail about this annotation so this annotation address operation is start from here and is ending here inside that address op uh, operation annotation there are some fields 
okay so what are those field first field is summary here we have to provide a uh, summary of that api description here we have to provide description okay so basically here you can provide what is the written type or what response uh, it will provide such kind of things now next thing is the parameters so here we have to mention that what parameters that are needed to that api for example here we needed add rate path variable so here in in front of or inside the parameters uh, variable we have to describe what and so what params that we needed and their description so we need name param and then we needed uh sorry uh, we have to provide here description so name of user to greet you can provide as per your requirement okay after this required is equal to two that means this parameter is uh, required or not or mandatory or not okay so basically this is the path para path variable so definitely it is a mandatory param then after this we have to uh, define here or describe here the what will be the response okay so you can provide different different uh, uh, http status or what http status will sent by this uh, api for example 403 uh, what is the meaning of that so such kind of uh, things you can put here so basically here we have provided very basic information which is description successful response it will return successful response and what headers it will return so it will return such kind of headers okay so all the information you can provide in in the response okay and uh, that's all about that documentation now let's run the application and let's see how it will work okay so let's start the application swagger demo once that application started then copy that url of swagger ui and go to the browser and paste here okay now you can see this ui of the swagger and here you will see all the details of api now you can see a uh, url and this is something uh, controller description which we given inside the address tag and after this this is the description of that uh, api which we given inside the address operation annotation okay and return a welcome message okay so this is a response that we describe inside the inside the uh, that operation uh, annotation okay after this here you can see that parameters what are the mandatory parameters so the name is the mandatory parameter that we have to provide here okay and here we have uh, documented that what will be the response okay so in that way you can uh, document all these stuffs of that any api and in future if you are trying to or if any developer is updating that api or changing that api then uh, immediately he can uh, change the description of that api here okay so that's it so that's all about the uh, documentation of swagger now let's see another thing execution of that api so can we call this api from the swagger yes we can call so click here try it out so instead of postman you can use this swagger also okay you can use swagger also so see here uh you have to click here try it out and here provide the uh, input argument let's say name is equal to avsoft okay and execute once you execute you will see response okay we are getting 200 and hello avsoft that's it so this is the response so that's all about the swagger ui and if you like so please share and subscribe thank you for watching the video